you don't just start evangelizing or preaching at someone without winning their friendship first. It means that you never want to share your faith with someone without even giving them a chance to talk about their stories, without even listening to people about their faith or what they believe in. You see, because a lot of times, people may have already heard about what you have to say. They may have already heard about your sharing or your evangelistic techniques, especially in the US. All this can leave a bad experience with people. And so they may see you as an enemy. And that could lead to bullying you. If you already have a preconceived message that you want to preach at someone without even listening to what they have to say. People are likely not to want to listen to you ever again. People are likely to get irritated and annoyed. And that can lead to people seeing you as an enemy, seeing you as an outsider, seeing you as a bad person. That can also lead to a negative treatment of you. Once you give them that kind of negative vibe, it would be really hard to, to win their friendships again. And when they start bullying you, whether in the school or in the workplace or other group events, or even in your neighborhood, that's going to be tough. It's kind of like swimming upstream. So it's good to know from the beginning that, you know what, it's better to try to, try to win the friendships of people and to try to listen to them first, to be a good listener. If a person has been hurt by a certain church, or a religious group and if they find out that you're a part of that religious group then they are likely to see you as an enemy or a threat to their lifestyles so that would be another good reason why it's never good to start preaching and start evangelizing in the first place without getting to know them or without befriending the people Another reason would be if people are living a certain lifestyle that your religious group may not agree with, they may see you as judgmental. When it comes to people in your workplace, your school, or your neighborhood, if they see you as judgmental or condemning, because of your religious faith, then they are likely to treat you in a negative manner. They are likely to see you as an enemy, as a threat to their lifestyles. They may gossip about you. And if you're in that situation already where people are already bullying you for your religious faith, well, a few things you can do, you can A, complain, hire a lawyer, maybe, as a protection for religious uh, persecution you might be feeling. If you're in another country where that may be tough, well, that's a tough one to answer. You probably have to leave that job and try to find another job or start your own business.